Mwah. Bellissimo. Oh my God, Marco, I think I'm in love with you. I've got zero idea what he's talking about, but I don't care. When he goes up, the chest lovely wide and... and Kia ora and welcome back. My name is Zoish TV, your vocal coach for today. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Marco Mengoni with Due Vita. I hope I said that right. Please let me know down in the comments if I didn't. But I'm so excited. It's my first time looking at Italy for Eurovision 2023. Let's see what he's up to with his vocal technique. He wrote the lyrics. That's super exciting. Se mi solo e svegli in tutto l'universo e non conosco ancora bene il tuo deserto. Però sei in un posto del mio cuore dove il sole è sempre spento, dove a volte ti perdo, ma se voglio ti prendo. Siamo un libro sul pavimento in una casa vuota che sembra la nostra Il caffè con limone contro l'engover sembri una foto mossa E ci siamo fottuti ancora una notte fuori un locale E meno male se... Oh my god Marco I think I'm in love with you this is so beautiful. You can really hear that lovely little bit of breathy, thick fold at the start of the sound. Da -da 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 like it's gonna build up. You really feel, and he's he's going up high. Watch what happens with his tongue because I'm loving that these vocal folds are just coming a little bit closer together. And then look when he goes into this lovely, louder sound. We're gonna go back to this this like pre pre chorus bit and and watch his tongue. Universe. Lovely breathy quality. Nice relaxed body. Little tiny breaths. Those are We're going to go back on that. Okay. Did you see there that suddenly, you know, as he got the vocal phones a little bit more together, those vocal phones were thickening up. You could see there was more action happening here in the head and the neck and in this chest region. The, the, the breath started to get a little bit more... <sighs> And you got you got like a little bit more movement. Now that short, sharp, high breath is an excellent way for you to get thicker vocal folds because you're going to then resist the idea of pushing all of that that breath if you like really tank up with a nice deep breath. Um, but if this is something that you're really looking to work on, then let me know down in the comments because I'm, I've been umming and ahhing about doing a little bit more like belting technique and like louder voicing technique um, videos. Let's go into this course. We just have to. Watch his tongue though. Watch his tongue. I'm going to tell you why. Fuori un locale e meno male Se questa è l'ultima canzone poi la luna esploderà Sarò gli attirti che sbagli e ti sbagli e lo sai Qui non arriva la musica Tanto lo so che tu non dormi, 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 dormi Che giri fanno due vite I've got zero idea what he's talking about But I don't care because I get the feeling and I feel it with him I, I love this I learned Italian for about five seconds from um, one of the singers from ATC Leave your... Uh, Love you, leave your mwah. But um, we ended up cooking a lot rather than <laughs> actually talking Italian. You can see there when he goes up into that higher part of the range, I was talking about his tongue. Now, the tongue is so important that we get a lot more tension in the tongue than we've previously believed that we need to have. So get my free singing lesson down in the description below because it's really going to help you get a handle on these high, actually just on any any notes. It's just going to help you sing better, more in tune, uh, hit the high notes. It's just going to help you. But you can see there when he goes up, up, the chest lovely wide and and that, look that might also have something to do with the meaning of the song but whatever we're gonna uh, when you're lifting up through the chest that's also going to help you to engage these front pectoralis muscles engage through the back so the muscles just between your shoulder blades and that's going to help to keep your ribs nice and high and also to stabilize the smaller muscles here within the larynx in, in order for you to sing higher and louder <laughs> Un po' di rabbia sopra un tetto Che nessuno si sente così 
che nessuno li guarda più i film, i fiori nella tua camera, la mia maglia metallica, siamo un libro sul pavimento in una casa vuota che sembra la nostra, persi tra le persone quante parole senza mai una risposta, e ci siamo fottuti ancora una notte fuori un locale, e meno male, se questa è l'ultima... Ok, I got that, I got that, I'm assuming he's talking about metal. Is that? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. Is this so true? I'm like, you know what? I feel like uh, you could, anyone could say anything to me in Italian. I'd just be like, swoon. <laughs> My husband's German and it so does not have the same effect. Although I do love the German language, I have to say, I'm like obsessed with it. You can see it so beautifully. Again, the build, he's really bringing us back down and it's important that we take away the tension. If we've had a part of the song that's like gone upwards, we want to then remove a lot of that tension, remove some of that like excitement, go back down, kind of like shake it out a little bit in your body because uh, tension's gonna grow on top of tension. So that's one of the biggest pitfalls that I see with singers is that they sing loud and then they stay there in that, you know, in that like louder, excited state um, to keep on singing. And it just means that the voice just gets <coughs> and squished. You've got to really keep the volume down as well when you're doing this sort of type of voicing. So if you end up using so much breath, then you're just going to push the, the note out of tune. So really, you can see the microphone is right next to his mouth. Now, I know that these audio engineers are like out of this world, but, you know, he's still using the microphone as a pop singer. This is still your instrument. He's still using the microphone in order to, to convey that, um, that fullness of his sound without pushing too much air, but still using breath. Fiori nella tua camera, la mia maglia metallica, siamo un libro sul pavimento in una casa vuota che sembra la nostra, persi tra le persone quante parole senza mai una risposta, e ci siamo fottuti ancora una notte fuori un locale, e meno male, se questa è l'ultima canzone poi This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. There are so many wonderful songs this year at Eurovision. Like, holy shit. How did they choose? Let me know down in the comments, what was your favorite? Because like, I am so torn. This is such a beautiful song. Oh my God, it's like really hitting me right here. I've got no idea what he's singing about, but this is the connection to the lyrics that I'm talking about. When you connect, it doesn't matter. It just like your connection to the lyric transcends language. And so when we really get that connection, you can transport that meaning to your audience. And that's what we really, really want. It's so important. So you can see that when he was breathing really, really high, what do we talk about? We talked about it's a really great way for you to achieve thicker vocal folds. And especially as you're going further up in the range, I was getting really excited because you can see there in this, this you can even see it like in his body. When is he singing high? Here. Lovely activation through the neck muscles there. And you can see that the larynx is so high. And that's what you really want to do if you are singing higher in the range with a thicker vocal fold closure, so a louder sound, or you want it to sound louder. Acoustically, it often sounds quieter, but on a microphone, it sounds louder. You want to make sure that you've got the larynx nice and high because that way you're going to, again, get a really lovely thick vocal fold closure. So if you're keeping the larynx down low, that might be hindering your ability to actually get right up on the note with those thick vocal folds because the larynx will ra rise and fall according to the pitch as well to a certain degree. He kind of like didn't get the larynx high enough, and then he and then he corrected himself. This this dude, uh, Marco, you are a wonderful singer. Look at this. He is a really. 
Holy shit, Val to sing, you don't me. Oh, God, awful. I can't sing whatsoever due to my cold. But you can see that he, he knew that he got a little bit too, too um, small in his mouth. And then you can see he corrects it. That larynx pipe. Oh my God, Marco, that was so beautiful. Oh my God. Can you see though how much he was shaking at the end there? I think just imagine you have the weight of your country like sitting on you for this one song and this one moment it's I mean for the whole time right like it's a grueling schedule that they are putting through like with all of the the, the pre-rounds and also they also have to win in their own countries and then they come here and they've got all the press all the social media that they have to do like you can see that and at the end there you can see you know you've also got to think about this is like probably you know this is like the last time that he's going to be singing the song so he's giving his everything and it's really important that when we do come to these situations that we don't push so you can see there he like let his expression come out now that sort of like growl that was coming in and things like that as much as we can train that you know we also have to think okay he's singing this for one last time and we know that the idea is like that the winner then sings that again but then it like it doesn't matter really how it sounds because you've already won you've already sung it once so I you know I want you to think a little bit about the fact that that is the song sung once at the end of the competition he's allowed to let everything out so I love that that's happening at the end and then he roped himself back in again and this is just shows why we take vocal lessons this is why we learn to sing properly because the the, the amount of control that he just displayed and that he let himself go and then he reined himself back in is absolutely amazing thank you so much Marco oh my god Mwah. bellissimo I want to say thank you so much for joining me here today. If you want to check out some more Eurovision, then check it out here. I'm doing my best to have a look at all of the top 10 songs on the list. I'm so amped. Have an awesome rest of your day and happy singing. Kakidano.